Local 4 News begins right now with a breaking news alert. A shooting just steps away from a local high school leaves one teenager dead and another injured. I'll never forget that night I was sent out to a breaking news story outside of MLK High School. We were getting reports from police that someone had been shot, uh, possibly a robber uh, who was trying to rob a coach. So my photographer and I, we get to the scene and I'm walking around the scene and I see a body lying in the middle of the median. And I go up to it and I see the student lying in a pool of blood, the young man just there. And I went to talk with police and I said, uh, I think the person you're looking for is over here and I don't think he's alive. Um, so they came back and uh, you know they started to access the scene. That next day I had a chance to speak with that kid's mother and she looked me in my eyes and she told me, Chauncey, he wasn't a bad kid. I did the best I could with him. I did what I could. I just couldn't show him any better. Uh, he didn't know any better and he just got caught up with the wrong group. And that night, I just could not get that mother out of my mind and what she had said. So I began to pray and ask God, what can I do to be a part of the solution instead of always reporting about the problems? I want to make sure that all of these connect. I am confident, I am respectful, I am faithful and powerful, I am a so uh, he led me to create this program, the Chauncey Glover Project. The mission of the Chauncey Glover Project is to encourage, empower, and inspire young men to become strong, moral, confident leaders of society. He, he showed the young men that he cared about them, that he was concerned about their success and committed to making it happen. And so uh, we're just proud. The Glover Project is so important because it developed the students' characters. They see other individuals in powerful roles and the impact that they're having on their life, lives and others. And they, um, they take um, ownership of that and move forward in their own lives. We meet every other weekend for empowerment sessions and then we also have activities and outings that we do for cultural enrichment. I have people from across the country and also from across Metro Detroit come in on the weekends and train these young men on a variety of subjects. We have financial responsibility training, etiquette, uh, college preparedness, tutoring, and so much more, even grooming. This is a mentoring ship program that's, that's like no other. It's not like we meet with the boys and we take them to a ball game and then we say, hey, this is what you do. It's a little grittier than that. We're not just saying, hey, you need to go to college. We're providing the steps, providing the tools that they need to prepare them for college. The Chauncey Glover Project has really opened my eyes on a new aspect of life. It's like taught me how to like be a man, dress for success. Although you are assigned to one mentor, you can get, learn things from everybody. So in this room, you have 14 young men who know that they now know somebody who has not only gone to college, not only done something, but are doing very different things, whether it be with finance or business or architects or engineers, but whatever their interest is, whatever they said, this is what I want to do, they now know somebody who's done it. I'm going to give you 30 seconds uh, to think about your introduction, the same thing that we just did, but I only want you, when I point to you, I just want you to stand up and give me an attention grabber. Every story when you're taking people on a journey, every story must have a beginning, a middle, and the end. And you know how I talked about how, you know, establishing the need, satisfying the need, those two and three most of the time comes in the middle. A lot of the young men come from single parent homes and mothers tell me, hey, they need a male role model around. It's hard for me to sit up there and tell my son certain things and the way about going things because I'm not a man. But when it's coming from a man perspective, they look at it totally different. His whole attitude has really changed. He was angry, he was upset a lot. But now, Gabriel make, I see him making sound decisions. I see him making wise choices now, who he's gonna hang with, what he's gonna accept or allow to come into his life. Gabriel's attitude has changed tremendously since he has been a part of this program. Not only has his attitude changed, but the way that he carry himself, you know, his character, um, the way that he do things now is just totally different. I see the program as important because it's giving him a different perspective. As his father, he hear me, but when he get the same information from other men, it's, it's more impactful. 
shows them that they too can be successful. It shows them that they have the power to change their life and to be an impactful citizen in society. Uh, there is a path to success. It doesn't matter you know, what you've been acculturated to believe. There's, there's other options. Uh, the world is far bigger than what's just around you in your neighborhood. And these young men, we have an array of personalities. You have the one who's silly, you have the one who's very serious all the time, then you have the one who's extremely shy. But we bring all of those personalities together and they form a, a miniature family. It's almost like a fraternity. They have a brotherhood there. They respect each other. They know we're all growing and learning together. The Chauncey Glover Project has like just open my eyes to a different aspect. There's a lot of kids in my generation that are no longer living. Um, myself, I have lost, last year I lost three, three of my closest friends um, due to violence and gang violence and stuff like that. And, it's, and it's things like the Chauncey Government Project has helped me out of, out of things like that. They have pushed me away from like the violence and, and those kind of things. I learned that your best brand is to be you. I learned that the greatest investment in your life you will ever have is into education. Education is something that can't be taken away. Some of us, or even most of us, are growing up without a father, so I believe that this father figure that the Chauncey Gulliver Project is providing will help us in our future, and the things that they are teaching us is, is really going to help us in our future. When he came to our school, it just it was something I wanted to be a part of. I felt like I needed that extra push because I, I always knew what I wanted to do, but I just didn't know how to get there. And we, we have a lot of fun. I show them tough love. They know we mean business, uh, but we also teach them a lot. They're growing, they're learning, but they're also having a good time. My name is Christian Yost, and the Chauncey Glover Project is grooming me. My name is Wilbur Kelly V, and the Chauncey Glover Project is helping me get into college. I'm Kiyama Bowman, and the Chauncey Glover Project is helping me reach my full potential. I'm Gabriel Fraley, and the Chauncey Glover Project has changed my life. I'm Justin Robertson, and the Chauncey Glover Project is teaching me how to become a better man and to strive for my goals. I'm Amaya L, and the Chauncey Glover Project has given me the path to a bright future. My name is Obafemi Caparu, and the Chauncey Glover Project helped me pass physics. I'm Chauncey Glover, and I've dedicated myself to save our young men. The Chauncey Glover Project, giving hope, vision, and guidance to the leaders of tomorrow.